Uh, as you know, we have covered uh, a movie called River of Freedom on the platform. We also covered, of course, and, and critiqued a thing called Fire and Fury by Paula Penfold, who I off, see is off getting awards and going to international conferences. I'm sure one way or another all paid for by the government. Um, Fire and Fury, a documentary uh, of first town footage and accounts of the parliamentary protest. Um, and stories we had not heard before because our mainstream media largely, well, boycotted or silenced and would not go in in any proper way cover all the sides, I don't say both sides, I say all the sides of that protest, which was uh, seminal important in New Zealand. Um, I was amazed to see Graham Tuckett, who is a movie reviewer for stuff and an absolute dedicated hipster wokester, lefty um, review River of Freedom over the weekend, I think it was, and really say it was worth seeing. Um, and that was pretty amazing. And, and Graham would, 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 I'm sure, describe himself as a very, very serious film reviewer who, I don't know, has done a varsity course on it on something and uh, likes dressing up as Che Guevara or, or Fidel Castro sort of thing. So I thought that indicates that this movie is having some real impact. So I thought I'd, uh, we'd get uh, Jared Conan, one of the film's uh, producers, back in to talk about how things are going. Jared, nice to talk to you again, mate. How are you? Yep, pretty good. Thanks, Sean. All right. Is it cracking along, River of Freedom? Uh, yeah, it is. It is. Yeah, it's um, it's hurtling. The um, you know, Each week we get new cinemas approaching us, asking us to put the film on. Um, sometimes cinemas that um, originally, you know, declined you know, our request to show the film. So um, there's definitely you know, a, a change in the mood out there. And um, How many, you know, many theatres on average are showing it around the country now? Uh, on the weekend, we had 30 cinemas playing. Wow. And um, I think we've got, we've almost, uh, I think we're up to about 49 cinemas on the books now. So we've still got another, you know, a whole bunch uh, opening up this week and more coming down the line. Some of them, you know, admittedly are only single plays, like in very, very small regional areas. But yeah. um, the mainstream, um, you know, we're, we're in event cinemas now, which yeah. is a big thing for us. And last and, week, uh, you were yeah, the we number did. one movie in cinemas in the country. We were. It was a. Wow. Um, it was a very short. It was a very short-lived um, title, but, no. but we we take it and wear it with pride. Thursday last week, we were the number one film at the box office in New Zealand. Wow, that is that is remarkable. What sort of yeah, feedback was, are um, you getting from from people who've seen it? Um, very moved. Uh, um, some people have said um, it, it transports them right into the protest. You know, it's quite visceral in that sense. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people saying uh, there are things in the film that I had never seen before. And, um, you know, that's quite revealing in itself. Um, and, uh, you know, one of the most um, you know, encouraging things is a lot of people are saying they've gone back two or three times. Mm. Yeah, you know, which is unheard of for for a you know cinema experience or an exhibitor even who, you know, getting a repeat um, audience is pretty phenomenal. Mm. Any international interest? And will this yep, movie? Yep, that, um, yeah, we're um, so we we've started discussions. We've been inquiring with exhibit, um, distributors for a while internationally. Uh, we haven't found anybody yet, but um, we just have we've just made contact in the sort of last twenty four hours with somebody in the UK who's very interested in the project, um, you know, and um, you know, has reputable distribution, you know, reach throughout the world in the documentary space. So we're um, pretty hopeful about that, that we'll get somewhere. Um, our big thing we're trying to do at the moment, Sean, is, you know, we'd love to get into Australia. We know there's a big audience there, a lot of ex-Kiwi pets. Yeah. And also just Australia's experience as well. They... Yeah, they had a very similar, um, you know, yeah. kind of event through the, uh, through the crisis and they can relate to our film. So we think um, there's really good opportunities there. Um, a lot of people have inquired from Australia, just, you know, uh, punters wanting to see the film. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, and then, you know, as you and I have discussed, if there's an opportunity to get onto um, streaming and, you know, yeah. in some sort of television. I think that's a, that's a big thing. So get more people to see it. Yeah. Um, yeah, just so that it's there and available. Yeah. Have you had any blowback? Anyone come to you and, and severely criticise the movie? Ah, uh, yeah, the usual trolls, you know, but nothing, nothing of note. It's sort of people coming, coming out on IMDb and putting in, 
you know, stupid reviews and just slagging off everybody in the film and saying we're all, you know, we're, we've all been um, brainwashed by the right-wing extremists, but nothing, we haven't, we haven't had anybody come to us with any sort of serious sort of, um, you know, yeah. notable issues or anything. God, like I'd lo- you know what I'd love to do? I'd love to sit you and your colleagues down with Paula Penfold and her colleagues and, and, and have a, a discussion. A moderated discussion oh, yeah. about yeah. the different approaches you take to taking a movie about a real event. I think that would be yeah, fascinating, sure. actually. Really, really yeah, fascinating. Yeah. I think it would be fascinating, too. Mm. I mean, it's just that, you know, we, you know, we told the film from our perspective, you know, mm. and, you know, we've always openly said that. it's not We're not there to try and, you know, it's not an investigative yeah. piece of journalism about the protest. It was our lived experience. Um, so... And I think that's kind of the heart that comes across in the film, which is what engages people so much. They go, oh, this is like people's real stories. And even the opening 30 minutes on the convoy, you know, some people have said, oh, it's too long, you know, following the convoy. But in that part of the film, that's where you hear these people's stories about why they joined the protest, yeah. what the, the harms that have happened to them, whether it be socially, politically or physically. And so you join the convoy as a as a member of the audience, and by the time you get to the protest, you're you know you're yeah. cheering for them. You're like, yeah, great, this is, this yeah. is well worth protesting. I'm with you yeah. guys. You, you must have been pleased with that Graham Tuckett review because he's a guy who I I would have expected just to just yell cookers cookers at you. Yeah, yeah, no, and I know Graham personally through um, through work in the film mm. industry, and you know I was I was really um, you know, I was really pleased with the review. A lot of people, um, you know, have sort of be, you know, read it as being negatively looking down his nose at us still, and I, I don't read it that way myself. I take it as being, you know, he's opened the door to a lot of people who um, who are still judgmental, critical of the protest of those who support it, and saying to them, just go and watch it. It's really important. You know, put your bias aside, put your opinions aside, and just go and watch it, and then then you can make up, up your mind about what you think. All right. the Another protest but, um, planned Thursday at Parliament. A whole lot of paranoia. Oh, we've taken our conference online. Um, this is a whole bunch oh, of basically yeah. leftist activists with this UN thing and the woman, Sophie Harford, who was school strike for climate change, Green Party activist, Labour Party activist, basically. Um, are you going to document that? Are your cameras out and about or is, is really no, getting this no. move... No, not yeah, going there. Yeah, the movie was it. Yeah, I was uh, I'm on school holidays at the moment. <laughs> nice I'm to hear. I'm very far away from Wellington. <laughs> yeah. Jared, that's good to hear. Look, if any, as a, always, if there's anything more I can do to help, please let me know, and uh, I wish you well. We'll check in again soon. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it all. Cheers, mate. Jared Conning, one of the producers of River of Freedom. Excellent movie. Once again, recommend you see it. Been shown in more and more New Zealand cinemas, uh, event cinemas, uh, are carrying it now. Um, don't have to agree with it, but it's an interesting take. Um, Sean, your own team calls the viewers of Rivers of Freedom a pack of losers and anybody thinking about going to watch it not to bother. What team? What team? You ringy. Oh, Mr Laws is allowed to have his opinions on movies and they may not always agree with mine and... The thing about the platform, it's not not like a Nazi top-down thing. People are allowed to have their own views. Particularly people on there are allowed to express their own views. We do not have groupthink at the platform. 